Hi everybody, it is that time again, Q&A Wednesday, when I answer questions that I have a lot of my clients and just seem to be really popular questions at the moment. And of course, tonight we have a great topic as always. So, um, you know, very common for people to really work really hard in the gym and then wonder why they're not making progress. So we're gonna talk about that tonight. Um, hopefully you are having an incredible evening. It is the first week of school where we are, it's a little chaotic, not gonna lie, um, but it's great. So we're getting back into the swing of things, getting back into a schedule. Um, hey Mo. <laughs> um, so, you know, excited to talk about this. You know, I, I find it really interesting over the last, um, you know, 10-ish years, I've learned a lot. And um, of course I continue to, to study because I find it very fascinating the way that the body works and I really find it annoying that um, the gimmicks and the garbage and a lot of the myths are still out there of the way that the body is supposed to work because it's really uh, you know I know that there's there's something behind it I know that um, you know everybody wants to sell something so guys this is free advice and this is information from all of you know the research um, that I've done and I've learned a lot um, you're talking to a girl who's been on the flip side um, I've been very very unhealthy as a matter of fact the majority of my adult life um, I, I was obese so um, you know at 43 I feel like I'm pretty healthy I've got a pretty decent grasp on things and not gonna lie I still struggle sometimes um, but uh, we're gonna just overcome that whole idea of you know you can work it all off um, so it's really important, hey Brandy, um, it's really important to, to get the balance right. And everybody's different. So don't think that there's a one size fits all because it is not true. However, there's definitely some things um, in a way that your body works, hi Sandy, um, that, you know, it's science. So we're gonna talk a little biology today. Um, but for those of you that have really struggled, um, let me just give you some background information, you know. About 10 years ago, um, you know, I was doing, I'd sneak into the gym or slink into the gym, not really sneak, but I didn't really want anybody to pay attention to me. Um, you know, I'd wear baggy clothes and I'd do my 30 minutes on the elliptical and then I'd slink back out or sneak out um, and really was frustrated because I couldn't figure out why I just didn't change. So we're going to talk about that today. Those of you that have ever worked with me, you know, I, I have a saying that I tell people right up front that... Nutri nutrition determines size and exercise determines shape. And it is absolutely true. Um, what I discovered, hi Adrian. Um, hi Lori, I've got everybody popping up. Um, everybody's paying attention. It's a good topic today, right? Um, but what I discovered way back when was that I just didn't change enough. Um, you know, I, I was I was focusing and, and, and don't get me wrong, you know, adding exercise to your schedule is super important um, because it does specific things for you on, on multiple levels. But if you don't change in other, areas um, you know I'm gonna tell you right now guys you cannot out exercise a bad diet it one way or another it will show up and you know when we were younger we might have been able to make that work um, especially if you were an athlete and you did you know any sort of sport um, you know eating crap you know eating processed food um, you might have got away with it for a while but you know those of us that are a little bit older and our bodies respond a little bit differently we just can't really get away with it at this point point. and unfortunately you know I really believe that what what we did as kids um, you know if we did eat a lot of, of junk food or a lot of processed food I think it comes back to haunt us as adults um, because our body responds in a totally different way you know our, our bodies weren't designed to eat a lot of chemicals and preservatives that's in that and that's honestly what's in processed Processed food and a lot of the, the stuff that we get at the stores today and so you know our, our, our bodies have to deal with it and, and your body's goal you, your body has two goals with or without your knowledge your body wants to help you survive and it wants to help you avoid pain and in order to do that sometimes what it does is it literally shuttles everything to our fat stores so you know unfortunately I think a lot of us have done a disservice um, you know I went on my first diet at age 12 because I felt overweight and unattractive um, and unfortunately that's kind of what my mother taught me to do she took me with her to Weight Watchers um, and that was my first quote-unquote diet so those of you that have followed me at all know that I don't believe in diets diets are temporary now I'm not saying there's a not a place for them there is but unfortunately uh, most of us think that we can do something short-term but then reap the results forever <laughs> it doesn't work that way so keep that in mind so let's talk about this if those of you who have really been working in the gym and really you maybe you're seeing some results but you're not really seeing where you want to go let's talk about why okay so we just talked about that nutrition determines size, exercise determines shape. You know, there is a little bit of truth to the energy in, energy out um, idea that, you know, if we're taking in more calories than we're burning, 
your body has to do something with it, but that is not the only thing that matters. Um, it, it, it really is not just based on energy in and energy out. Your, it's, it's based on your hormones. It's based on how your body responds to what you're doing. So it, kind of like if you come down to the idea your body does not burn calories the same. You know, when you look at the macros, the different macros do different things. So depending on what percent percentage of your nutrition comes from each of the macros, your body's going to treat it differently. Um, case in point, if you're taking in a lot of carbs, now guys remember, those of us that are a little bit older, if you even remember the 90s, the early 90s when everybody talked about low fat, like the whole premise was that fat caused fat which of course is garbage <laughs> because we need a certain amount of fat. Um, but just like everything else, it depends on the quality. But the problem being with that was that of course, because we all wanted to avoid fat, we went very low fat, but it was very high carb. If you're giving your body what it needs energy wise through carbohydrates, why would your body burn fat as fuel? right? And if you give your body too much of any macronutrient, and if it doesn't need it at the time, what's it going to do with it? It's going to store it as body fat. So again, you know, for those of us that are eating a lot of carbohydrates, your body doesn't have a reason to burn fat as fuel because you're providing it the fuel that it needs through your nutrition. So keep that in mind, okay? But also remember too that your body doesn't burn processed food the same as it burns whole foods. Processed food is just that, it's already processed. So your body doesn't have to work as hard to break it down, it actually can absorb more of it, okay? So again, if you're burning, if you're eating whole foods, your body has to rev up to break that down. Your body can't absorb as much of it as it can processed food. So I look at everything as a formula, okay? Um, and again, everybody's a little bit different, but there's multiple things that are gonna play a role in that formula. Number one, exercise is, is a good part of it, right? You, you need some cardio because you, need, you want your body to burn more calories, right? Um, you need some strength training because muscle's important. Whether a little or a lot, your body needs that in order to number one, be strong. Um, but number two, it's a natural fat burner. So you know, the more muscle that you have, technically the more food that you can eat. Now, notice I didn't say junk. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean you can eat more junk. It just means that your body actually needs more nutrients in order to preserve that muscle. But there's other things that play a role in there. And the biggest one there is nutrition. Um, if you are eating well, and, and granted, one of my tips today is going to be that you really, to some degree, should be tracking your food. Now, a lot of people will say, and a lot of doctors and whatever will say, you know, you don't need to count calories. No, but it is really important that you're accountable for what you're eating. A lot of people don't realize how much they're eating. And if they are paying attention, maybe they don't realize how much sugar intake that they have. So keeping track of that's really important, but the cleaner that you eat, the better your body is going to respond. So if you have been doing a ton of exercise, but not really giving yourself um, the accountability on your intake of food, there's gonna be a, a, a problem there, right? There, there's a, um, we're missing a connection. So when I look at where people are at, I don't just look at the exercise. I definitely, nutrition plays actually a bigger role in weight loss. And you all know how I feel about weight loss. I believe in fat loss, fat loss not weight loss. But it, it plays a bigger role in that than the exercise does. I mean, really, truly, when they say the abs are made in the kitchen, they're not kidding, okay? So if you're not, if you're not paying attention to your food, that's gonna be a big problem. Other variables that are gonna play a role there. Sleep, are you getting enough sleep? Um, you know, I've really read a lot of information about your circadian rhythm and how, um, you know, when you eat and when you sleep plays such a huge role in there. So if you're not paying attention to those, if you're eating late at night, um, if you are doing shift work and you're eating or not sleeping, um, that can play a big role as to whether or not your body is able to release fat. Because while you sleep, while you hit that deep sleep is when you recover, it's when your body resets, it responds, it rebuilds. You don't build muscle when you lift. You actually build muscle when you sleep and recover. So that sleep is super important. Um, I've known multiple people that uh, really struggle with reaching their goals, and I, I personally believe that the sleep, the lack of sleep plays such a huge role in that. So, you know, if you're not getting the amount of sleep that you need, you need to take steps to be able to do that. Um, and, and I've actually done amazing. I actually went from getting about five and a half hours of sleep a night in the last two years to now reaching on average about seven, which is pretty incredible for me. But I had to take some very specific things like stop eating at about seven or eight at night before I'm going to bed, you know, a couple hours later to allow my body to digest that. 
So again, if, if that's something that you struggle with, that's something that you probably should approach and make some changes for. Um, Self-care, if you're not allowing yourself the time, you know, if you're stressed out, stress is a huge role, guys. Now, again, everybody holds fat a little bit different. Everybody has a little different um, body type. Your DNA plays such a huge role. But um, for women especially that, um, and I know guys a lot, mostly carry their, their fat, um, and then we're talking the dangerous fat, we're talking visceral fat. If you carry fat around the midsection, that is usually based on too much cortisol production, which is your stress hormone. And unfortunately in this day and age, because of the way that we live, most of us continuously produce a, some amount of cortisol all the time and our body has to respond to that because it's dealing with the cortisol, it doesn't, it doesn't digest and burn the food efficiently and so your body actually stores way more than it should. So again, there's a lot of things that are playing a huge role that if we don't take that into consideration, and work with it, um, then we might not be getting the results that we need. So again, you kind of have to go through, I, I really like to teach people that it's important to make small advances and small progress in multiple categories versus, again, exercise yourself to death <laughs> because um, the whole, you know, exercise more, eat less does not work, at least not in the long term. So it's more about exercise, but make sure that you're getting not just the cardio, because again, you can do hours of cardio, your body's just gonna get really good at it. It's not gonna continue to burn as much fat. But you also need to do some strength training, right? You need to make sure your nutrition is in line. You need to avoid as much sugar and processed food as possible. You need to make sure your sleep is, is getting taken care of. You need to really try to reduce your stress level. So making, and, and remember that emotional, mental emotional health is just as important as the physical part but it's also the harder part to work with. You know, for me, the physical part is the easy, easy part. I show up, I do my workout, I get my cardio in, I actually enjoy it at this point. I feel wrong if I don't get it in. Um, it's the mental and emotional games that, you know, we all play in our head, the, the guilt cycle that we work with. Um, I still struggle sometimes to not eat my feelings. Um, you know, those are things that we just have to figure out other ways to work with. Figure out what your current formula is, right? It, if, even if it's not working for you, figure out what it is. How much sleep are you getting? How much cardio are you doing? How much strength training are you doing? How much, how much sleep? Uh, pay attention to everything. Then figure out what's not working for you. And baby steps, guys. You can't change everything at once. You gotta make small changes because you're trying to do this for a lifetime, not temporarily. Again, I don't like New Year's resolutions. I don't like the fact that we wanna fix something for three months, then go back to the same garbage we were doing before, but expect it to stick. It just it, it just doesn't work that way. You know, last week I talked about waist trainers um, and I came up with, you know, the whole thing that, like really, what if they did work? Which they don't. But what if they really did work? The problem is, is even if that worked, if you still continue to eat processed food and garbage on a regular basis, you're still not gonna keep the results. It doesn't work that way. So again, this is a lifestyle, guys. I don't recommend that you try to take on too much at once because the first time that you feel overwhelmed and overloaded, at least I do, I freak out and I really struggle with it, and then we tend to give up. So pick one or two things in your formula that you can work on, make some changes, make positive changes, and remember it's not how fast you get there, it's how long do you stay there once you reach your goal. So hopefully that helps. I'm just checking to make sure that I, I wrote down some tips today. Um, you know, I think I've talked about everything, you know, track everything, track your accountability. Guys, it's not easy to be 100% healthy. It's, you're not gonna get there by chance. It's not gonna happen by circumstance. You know, if we're doing the, if we're going the wrong direction, you're not gonna reach your goal. So take some baby steps towards the direction that you want. Find somebody to be accountable to and find a support network. They say that one of the biggest um, things that you're gonna need for, for, to expect the results that you want is make sure that you have a group of people that have similar ideas and similar goals because it's so much easier to do it that way than to do it alone. So hopefully you got some good ideas this week. Um, I'm not trying to make it complicated. I'm actually trying to just make sure that you understand the way that it really does work, the facts, not the stuff that you see. Uh, if I see one more thing pop up about the one liquid that burns belly fat, I think I'm gonna scream. I, I really think I'm gonna scream at this point. Um, it's the whole reason why in January, I really wanna run away <laughs> and throw things at my TV. Guys, it's about being realistic. If it's not working the way, you know, I love it when my clients come up and say, but I heard that. I'm like, and how is that working for you? 
I think that's the definition of insanity, doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. That is just not how it rolls, guys. I know we're human, but we got to figure it out. So be good to each other and have a great week. We'll see you later.